Hello to you. I'm Jesse R. Johnson. I would like to speak to you today about perpetual, over unity, cell running, and free energy machines, etc. And in the world of perpetual machines, over unity machines, self running machines, free energy machines, etc., how does a person even sell or promote such a thing? You have, you have all of the electrical energy companies out to constantly make a profit. This would make them compete even harder and in the meanest of ways to keep your invention unknown. So how would an inventor even promote it or sell it? If you invented a self-running machine, would the first thing to do would be to get a patent? That would be very hard. But let's say it's a real machine, and of course it's not perpetual, over unity and so on. Like all machines, it wears down, breaks down. It might run a long time in the human context of a few years without maintenance and give off lots of useful work. But even if it's a long-lasting, low-maintenance operating system, how can you sell it? How can it be advertised if you built a demonstrable working model and show and prove it to work, would you even be able to advertise it? If you go into business yourself with the invention, this would be very difficult. Many people have claimed to have invented a perpetual machine or an over unity machine, and yet not a single one is in the public producing energy or running vehicles. So what's really going on? Does one get a patent or not? Or at least try to? What are your thoughts on this matter, the, 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 the watcher of this video? Very seriously, what are your thoughts on this? Please leave a comment or two below. What is to be done in such a case? Not whether, not whether perpetual, over-unity, self-running, or free energy machines can be built or not. It's an impossibility to produce such things because the laws of nature doesn't permit it. Nature permits many things, of course, now. But what if an inventor invented something in the neighborhood of a long-lasting, operating, self-running, very low-maintenance device, apparatus, or machine that gives out work to do a few different chores? Who would buy it? A large company or a small company? What companies would or could take the heat from energy or oil companies? I've gone through a great deal of videos and text on YouTube, Yahoo, Google, etc. But from my research, no one has put anything online with detailed mechanical explanations of workability. At least, I've not run across it as yet. And I've been looking diligently. I've heard how inventors are messed over with good, who have good intentions and very good inventions. What would an inventor need to do? Does an inventor keep it secret? Give it away for free or a free for all? Put it on CNN or put it on 60 Minutes first? I mean, how do you even approach the subject of a device or real machine that can be coupled to other machines to produce force or energy at almost no cost or very little or very minimal cost for years to run vehicles or to turn an electric generator? It would be worth millions to any company in the field of transportation or energy production. It would make the inventor rich if the invention isn't stolen by others. Inventors think mainly of the creation process and they don't give enough consideration to the marketing aspects of the process of advertising, promoting, selling, business, manufacturing, startups, etc. Marketing is where the heavy work begins. And I will read every comment to absorb your responses on this. I want to thank all of you for watching and have a fine day.